Hey, what's going on, guys? We get the special honor today of sitting down for the DHL Pro Tips with a player from Chasmac Gaming. It's one of the people that you definitely know. It's Lexnos that we're going to be talking some tips on how to do the Skelly Donut into Flameflinger Lalo. It's a very, very powerful attack here, and we're going to break down how to actually do this attack. So, Lexnos, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you uh, doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so what is the first thing you're looking for when you want to do a Skelly Donut so we know what to look for and when to use this attack strategy? Yeah, so the key component about using the Skelly Donut into a Flame Flinger Lalo is making sure that you can get the CC building, the Clan Castle building, early with just spells and usually getting another key defense on top of that. In this case, the Inferno Tower right next to it. So we're going to be able to utilize an Earthquake, a Rage spell, a Skelly spell, a Bat spell, and a bunch of Invisibility spells in order to take those down nice and early and then be able to set up a Flame Flinger for the Town Hall into a Hero Dive into a Lalo. So what's the point of the Earthquake in the middle of the mix there? So the Earthquake in this particular situation serves two purposes. Um, one, it's going to be able to help damage that CC building by, you know, 29% how much the max level Earthquake spell does, as well as wake up the Town Hall for the Flame Flinger to be able to target it. Gotcha. And then if you run into any problems there with the Flame Flinger, like some ground skill or something like that, you got to plan for that as well? Yes, as you can see at the bottom, the Valkyrie in the army composition is exactly for that purpose. If any Skellies pop up, they go target your Flame Flinger, drop that Valkyrie, and she'll be able to just one-shot them all. And then when your heroes deploy afterwards for the next phase of the attack there, what is your primary target for them? Do you have a typical target you try to go after? Normally trying to create pathing. That's the number one uh, key point here of the hero dive so we're trying to eliminate as much on this northern side of the base as possible some secondary uh, key values are getting that enemy royal champion and possibly even the core multi-targeting inferno tower so the lalo does not have to path through it okay and then i noticed you put in the lava hound and a dragon rider on the right side but you didn't deploy the warden normally when we go with a lalo we would put the warden down whenever we start the air troops but i see you delayed your warden Yes, we're seeing it more and more common in the meta these days with Lalo to not use Warden at the beginning around the Eagle Artillery area because if you try to send Headhunters with the Warden, they're often going to target the enemy King and not the enemy Queen or Royal Champion like you want them to. So a lot of the times these days we're seeing the Warden being used with a delayed group of Lalo so you can easily pop the Warden ability right away and have Headhunters target the hero that you want them to. Exactly. So bypassing the king there, but still prioritizing the eagle artillery, getting it down early to make sure that it doesn't cause any problems with the rest of the attack there. So now we see that Lex Nose absolutely ripped his base to parse. There's his own base. So huh? Lex Nose, thank you so much for joining me. And this is your DHL Pro Tips.